Hello Star Wars fans! Okay, so today is not a build. Today, if you saw my Transformers uh, toy convention toy haul for Transformers, um, you would have ended up hearing me say that um, this year there was pretty much no G1 Transformers at this toy convention at all. Um, it was pretty... it was... Star Wars themed. Last year didn't have a theme, and there's pretty much no themes at these things. Because, I mean, where I live, I mean, yeah, they don't do that kind of stuff. So, um, I got a few items. You saw the two Transformers related stuff from that other video. Um, but yeah, I mean, they had a couple guys dressed up as stormtroopers there. They had a, like, full-size R2-D2. Granted, he didn't move, really, except for, like, I don't even know if his head swiveled. But he did have, you know, like, the electronic noises. And there was a little, uh, uh, Jawa there. Obviously not, like someone in costume or anything. It was just like a one of those like stuffed things. So but um yeah. Um I'm going to save the two major Star Wars items that I got um for the end. So um I'll start off with this item right here. Not Star Wars related, but um this is a full set of Gremlins trading cards. So, and you know, as you can see, you know, twenty dollars because these are from the 1980s and a full set. I mean, look at that. I mean, these things look like they have been taped up in this, you know, for like the last like 30 years. So, yeah. Definitely worth uh, the, the money that that was. And no, I am not going to be taking those out of the packaging. Okay, so the next item. I got a Back to the Future Hot Wheels. And look at that. It is Biff's Ford Super Deluxe. And you can tell it's Biff's because it's covered in manure. <laughs> so... I thought that was cool. So I got it. You know. Had to get that. Okay. So. Next one. And this really is a collectible. Because even the guy. Was telling me. And I kind of knew. That this is. Um, a 2011. Uh, Back to the Future. DeLorean, and it already comes in a nice little collector plastic case right here. And as you can see, well, right in there. Got some cool coloring in there. Nice. Got the little DMC there. Does have the license plate and tail lights. Uh, properly done. Um, but yeah. So, and he was also telling me um, it was definitely an original. Obviously in its original packaging, unopened. So, yeah, I got that. So, and he said that there were other ones that were made of this. But, like, the coloring was off or whatnot. I couldn't tell you if it was from before this or after this. So, these are two items that are definitely going up on a shelf somewhere. If I can actually uh, get another shelf up in here. Because I got tons of stuff in here already. Okay, so then I have um, some original... You know, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back trading cards right here. Series 2. So, they're actually in pretty good condition. So, yeah. 
so uh, there seems to be very little aging with this it did come in this box right here and it is taped closed too so so yeah so I got that all right so those are the uh, four smaller items that I got and the other ones are the bigger items so uh, I pretty much have to move those four things out of the way and I do have to zoom this out okay so the next two things are from uh, 1998 and this is the first one that I got which I will raise this up as best as I can right here so yeah we got I got uh, some of the old Kenner um, basically you know full pipe you know like eight nine ten inch tall you know <laughs> Star Wars collectible figures here um, I don't usually go for the figures this size I normally go for the smaller ones um, so we have uh, Han Solo is a prisoner and then uh, Han Solo and Carbonite right here and yeah you can probably still see the price tag in the upper corner but um, yeah so I mean I kinda have to get this cuz you know as I said you know cuz I mean they did have some of the um, out of the packaging um, smaller figures from the original Star Wars um, but eh, I, I don't know some of them are in plastic baggies no real way of knowing um, when they're out of their packaging like that if they are from you know uh, original or you know whatever so I don't know cuz I mean I I do believe they kinda uh, they probably ended up maybe re-releasing some um cuz you know they had that uh, retro look back on the figures um actually just within the past uh, what is it like three years I think they did like a, a re-release on some of the older fi uh, older looking figures um, which you don't know because I mean it was supposed to be using like the original molding um, so you have no idea if these people ended up buying these things uh, and then trying to pass them off as you know a, a 1980s figure so if I'm gonna get a 1980s figure it had still better be in original packaging all right so this is the other thing I got it's from the same uh, 1998 line right here and this was an exclusive at the time and Ooh, I gotta move that back even further just so I can lift the flap. And yes, the flap does lift. As you can see, this was an FAO Schwartz exclusive right here. Yep, that is right. So we have Wedge Antilles and Biggs Darklighter. If you can see that, the X Wing Pilot version. So, pretty cool. And you know, the, uh, the thing is, this, this was uh, $5 cheaper than the Han Solo one. And being an exclusive, you think that it would possibly have actually uh, been a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got these guys. And you know, the only thing about the uh, uh, Wedge and Tilly's face right there, which I just happened to notice, 
actually kind of more resembles Luke. But, uh, yeah. So. And you can even see the other figures that I guess they had uh, exclusive to. Um, I don't know if maybe they were exclusive to the FAO Schwartz line, or if these were just the other figures you could actually get for for this particular uh, line here. So I have a couple more items to to put on my collector's shelves. So yeah. Alright, so I don't know, let, um, let me know what you think about them. And I know the uh, Transformers one this year was a little bit... Uh, depressing. But I mean, at least I, at least I was able to get a few Star Wars items. So, it's all good. Alrighty. So, uh, until my next videos, thanks for watching.